You can still see kind of the emotions poured out in what is just a regular season type game that's a little bit elevated. Can you kind of describe what you and your teammates are feeling after this tough loss? Yeah, I mean, we're sick. I mean, frustrated. Um, yeah, we just got to play tonight from start of the game to end of the game. Just uh, didn't do the job on the loose balls, didn't rebound, didn't get enough stops when needed. Uh, they just outplayed us, and it's frustrating. And, uh, you know, it's, it's funny because it's like everybody says this has like the NCAA tournament feel. But after a game like that and you're sitting in the locker room, you're like, damn, like, motherfuckers ain't graduating. You know what I mean? We play on Monday. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely frustrating. And you got to, you know, take that one on, on the chin. And uh, we got a flight, flight tomorrow. We play Detroit on Monday. So I know it has that NCAA tournament feel, championship feel, but... Shit, I mean, we played a couple of days, so it's all it's all part of the season. I mean, that's a good question. I, I just think if you let that, like, we've done some great things to get here, uh, competed against some really good teams and battled, um, and you can't let that happen for no reason. You know what I mean? So if you allow that, this loss to roll over, um, and we got a four-game road trip coming up here, um, you got to take care of business and handle it the right way. And... Uh, you know, uh, celebrate the successes of it. But at the end of the day, this is just like the regular season. It's game 22, 23. Um, so, uh, you know, got to gotta move on. Front row on the right, Willie, go ahead. Tyrese, Willie Ramirez, Associated Press. Couple for you. Um, I was watching the monitor after the game. You were making your way through the pack of winning Lakers and until you found LeBron. What is it, was there, can you share with us anything you may have said to you? I know you idolized him growing up. It was a, just that moment and finding him, seeking him out, congratulating him. Yeah, I think just, you know, congratulating the team. Uh, they did a great job. Everybody competed. Um, and uh, I think at the end of the day, it's just one from one, one, you know, one great talking, I'm just talking to a great, you know what I mean? And uh, congratulating him on the win and, um, you know, moving on. You know, I, I think that um, he's shown me love constantly since I've came in the NBA, and obviously I have, um, you know, for the majority of my life. So, um, you know, it was a, it was great to compete against him and that team, and they're they're a good team. Uh, you know, earned that win. One more for you. Um, obviously, I mean, you're coming off an All Star season last year, and you're putting up some great numbers. People are putting you in the NBA MVP conversation. But just this week, being here and. You mentioned the NC2A tournament feel, right? What is there anything that you felt you've grown in, in just in these four days? Anything you sort of learned about yourself and coming together for this inaugural tournament, leading up to the championship? Um, I think these games. <coughs> sorry, I think they've said like these games have had um, you know a playoff type feel, and so playing against Boston, playing against Milwaukee, playing against the Lakers, um, just seeing how different coverages are, uh, seeing how teams are going to guard me. Uh, I think it t tonight was interesting. It was a lot of putting two on the ball and making me make reads out of it. I had a couple early turnovers, bad ones. Um, but then after that, I just, I mean, we, I don't know what we shot from three. I don't have it in front of me, but I've uh, 10 for 41 or something like that. Um, we missed a lot of, 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 of good looks. And that happens. It's a make or miss league. And um, just, I think for me, it's just understanding how teams are going to guard me moving forward. And uh, I mean, every team doesn't have Anthony Davis and a bunch of six, eight, six, nine wings, you know, so that, that, there's that as well, but just understanding how different looks are going to come. And these are, this is not a regular, this didn't have a regular season feel at all. You know, like I'm used to playing LeBron, you know, whatever he plays is 30, 35, 35 minutes. It felt like him and AD never came off the floor. You know what I mean? It was a playoff type feel. So um, just getting accustomed to that, I think was really good for me and um, makes me want to play in more, more games that have some meaning to them, you know, so to handle the rest of this season the right way so I can get to the playoffs and, and, and feel that. Third row on the left. Go ahead, Gary. Uh, Tyrese Gary, Washington, Boston Globe. You guys have won three straight before this. This doesn't really count. But if not for the in-season tournament, you guys are a nice little winning streak. People aren't looking at you. With the with this tournament, do you think the rest of the East and you know, the rest of the league views you differently for the last sixty games? Will you not? Will you not be overlooked by opponents? Will you? Is Indiana Pacer basketball suddenly elevated because of this run? 
That's a good question. You know, I I don't I don't think that that really happens anymore. I think last year we 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 snuck up on teams. Teams didn't really know what to expect, but I think now when you play the Pacers, you know what to expect. You know we're gonna run. Uh, better have your track shoes ready. Be ready to run with us, um, and we're gonna score. And, and the game's gonna be up and down. So um, I think teams know what to expect at this point. Um, I don't think people expect. Obviously, people didn't expect us to get to here in the championship game, but um, I think teams are are prepared for us. And um, you know, we've beaten Boston, beaten Milwaukee. Those are two of the top teams in the East. They're you know, we play Milwaukee here in a couple of days. They're they're gonna be ready for us. Um, so I, I think teams are. I think teams know what to expect when we come in the gym. And um, I don't think anybody's taking us lightly. Back to the right side, Hi. Steve. Third row. Uh, Steve Ashburn with NBA.com. You know, the network while have constantly talked about winning and the team. How do you balance those values with the fact this is a star-driven league and people are excited to learn more about you? Yeah, that's a great question. I think that that's what, like you said, it's a star-driven league um, in a world that's so like me, me, me. Um, I just want the focus to be on, you know, our group and our team and what we do. Um, you know, I think that there's a, it's kind of tiring I think the, the in-season tournament's been really good because it's forced, and us having success has been good because I think it, I feel like it's forced the media to talk about basketball and talk about what's in front of you and not have to talk about legacies and all the, the 